Hey crafty friends, it's Ashley and today I've got a new video for Pretty Little Studio using my Goosebumps collection and our free cut file for October. You can find this on the Pretty Little Studio website and I'll leave a link to it. Um, you can see my layout here that I'm going to be working on in the video. And if you watch my video Monday and today, you're probably wondering if you're on the right channel because I'm using mixed media and gesso, but yes, you are. <laughs> um, I've just been kind of fascinated again with mixed media lately and binge watching um, videos by Missy Whidden and Natalie D'Souza. Um, and I just really love the look that they create on their layouts using mixed media. And I wanted to give it a try again. So I did buy some gesso and I've done a few layouts with it and I'm really liking it. So for this one, I started out um, adding some gesso to white cardstock because I want to create some mixed media in the background um, on my layout and sorry about the going in and out. Um, my camera has been on the fritz lately doing that but it does clear up um, and I did cut the cut file for this month out of some black cardstock. Um, just solid black cardstock and I'm going to back that with some of the pattern papers from my Goosebumps collection. And so I'm getting started here with some packaging and I'm just trying to recreate the colors in the Goosebumps collection. Um, I'm mostly going to use some orange, yellow, and kind of that, it's not really teal, um, kind of a cool ice blue color, I guess maybe you could say. Um, so those are going to be the main colors that I'm going to use in the background. Um, of my layout and I'm just going to mix those colors. Um, they're drying pretty quick. Um, I didn't want them to blend together really too much um, because I didn't want it to create a strange weird color. Um, so I'm just trying to do those in different areas um, to keep it from blending together. And I added the blue there in that bottom corner, but realized that my cut file for the word boo, which I'm going to back with some pattern papers, would really cover that up. So I decided to move the blue up to that top part there. And I liked that much better. Um, and the blue is going to just kind of show a little bit. There won't be a lot of the blue. It'll mostly be the orange and the yellow, um, but you still will see some of the blue in the background also. And I really like the way that that's looking. I'm going to layer that black cut file over it. So that will kind of help tone down some of the color also. Um, and I'm just kind of making it kind of big, um, just splattering it out here and there. Um, because once I start adding the cut file and the embellishments, and I am going to back parts of the cut file with some pattern paper. So that will start covering some of that up too. So you'll just see little peaks of it here and there um, behind the cut file. And I wanted to mix those colors again and just add some splatters with my brush. And so I'm just kind of getting that same watercolor um, look that I used before. Um, maybe in a little more saturated tone just so it'll look a little different splattered over the colors. And after that dried, I went ahead and added some black color shine also. I wanted some splatters of the black color shine in the background. And so I just kind of go around a little bit um, in the background to do that. And now I'm going to start backing the cut file with some of the pattern papers. Um, the Goosebumps collection has um, several different size papers. You can get like six by six, um, four by six. I think there's an eight by eight pad. Um, and you can check all that out in the Pretty Little Studio Shop. I will leave a link to that um, in the description box below. And this is one of my favorite patterns. And you can see from the colors, it really matches what I did on my background. So I wanted to use this one to back the word boo. And so I just traced the letters and then I'm going to cut those out and put them behind the word with my fine liner liquid adhesive. And so that way it just kind of, the way I did it, it keeps it all together um, and keeps the pattern flowing. And then I just erased the pencil lines once I had finished tracing that just to make sure that those didn't show once I put it behind the, um, behind what I'm backing. And so now I'm going to use the fine liner liquid adhesive to add that and just go around those edges and make sure I get enough adhesive on there for my letters to stick. Um, the paper that the collections for Pretty Little Studio are printed on have kind of a little bit, I would say maybe like a little bit of a glossy finish. So I like doing the liquid adhesive to help it stick um, to other papers just to make sure it stays secure and stays in place. And so I got that part done and I'm going to also do the word eek. 
um, off camera, but also I'm going to do some backing around the spider web. And I'm not going to back the whole web because I wanted the paper um, to have the opening so the mixed media that I did could show through, but I am going to back some of the different sections. And so for that, I'm just kind of flipping my paper over and flipping my cut file over and then tracing those spaces and cutting out a little bit of a border around those pencil lines to go back and add my adhesive to place those. And I really like the way it looks once I get that done. And you can see here, I filled in my spots and put it on the background paper and I added some machine stitching off camera. I did not stitch over every line. I did all the center lines and then some of the other lines going horizontal and vertical. And I tried to figure out where I wanted to place my photo. I thought about the center and over the um, O's in the word boo, but then I decided to put it right under the word eek. Um, and kind of tilt it with a little tilted design. And I wanted to pop that up off the page um, and I used my pop dots so I could get that dimension there and just place it right under the word eek. And this photo is from last Halloween. Um, we were in Disney World and they had their Halloween decorations out. Um, so I snapped this one of the kids in front of some of their big pumpkins and they all had on their different Mickey ears and stitch hat and all that fun stuff. So <laughs> I wanted to make it a black and white photo to kind of go with the Halloween theme and just because the colors didn't really match um, very well with my collection. So changing it to black and white made it much easier to coordinate. And so I'm going through some of the embellishments now to start embellishing the page. Um, I wanted to add these big circles um, with the different little Halloween images inside the letters of the word boo and I got some stars um, and I had one star out of one pack but there are stars in multiple packs of the die cuts and so I had to go through and find a second star to use on the letter B and so I just did an orange and a yellow one and popped those up with pop dots um, just to kind of balance out the dimension and there's lots of cute little flare buttons I wanted to use the pumpkins since I had pumpkins in the photo and I just added that right to the center, kind of just to cover up that area where all my stitching came together, but it was a perfect spot for that. And there are a lot of different die cut packs. Um, some have images, some have words, um, some have like little um, kind of phrases that could be used as titles for your layout. So this one is just one of the little um, phrases, phrase um, kind of not sticker, but little die cut that says spellbound. And then since I had a spider web as the main cut file, I had to use a spider on there. So <laughs> I grabbed one of the stickers um, that had the spider. And just going back and forth through those stickers to find what I want to use. There are a lot of stickers also for this collection. Um, so you can get a lot of different things um, in the pretty little studio shop with this collection to create your layouts. It has lots of fun um, embellishments to go along with it. So I'm looking to see what else I want to add. And I go back to another spider and I wanted to add one there also on part of the title. So I just layered that under the little circle piece that I added earlier. And that's what I was looking for. I was looking for another black word phrase that I could add on that side of the other O. And then I really like these die cut stars that have the different patterns from the collection. Um, and I decided to bring a star up to the top and add some dimension with the pop dots. And then these are just kind of little chevron shapes and I wanted to add those. Um, so I took them off camera and did some machine stitching and then I flipped them because I originally had the orange one at the bottom and the yellow one at the top, but I decided to switch that out um, because I had kind of yellow in the eek paper at the top and that orange in the O on the word boo. And so I switched those just to kind of vary up that color. So I wouldn't have the same colors right next to one another. And I always love the little word stickers. Those are one of my favorite embellishments. So I always make sure I have those with my collections. And then this sticker sheet has some tiny, tiny little stars. And so I wanted to add some of those just kind of to go in with that scattered look um, of the mixed media and the color shine. So I'm going to finish the layout with the date here and just stamp it down at the bottom. And that finishes off this layout. Um, I hope you will pick up the free cut file and use it on your layout. You can see my finished layout in close up here. 
Um, if you liked the video, I hope you will leave me a thumbs up. And if you're not a subscriber, I would love for you to become a new subscriber. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.